Good morning everyone. So today is what day is it? Friday. Friday. Today I'm going down to Wellingborough to visit Tom. It's been about two weeks and I've seen since la, 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 la. can't talk. It's been about two wink I still can't talk. Winks. Weeks. It's been two weeks since I've seen Tom. So I'm very excited to go down there. Um, I'm going Friday till Monday morning. Um, should be a nice weekend with him. Um, I think we're going to get up to a few bits but I'll show you along the way. Um, so I have packed, I've had breakfast. Um, I'm going to leave around 12-ish because uh, Tom will have some time during the day to um, give me his keys so I can just get myself sorted in the flat and then wait for him after he finishes work. So I've come into my mum's room because she has a big ass mirror so I can show you what I'm wearing. Um, so my skirt from Primark which I show you in my Primark uh, haul. Uh, socks which I got from TK Maxx, they have all glittery and sparkly, not very practical but oh well. Uh, my top is from Zara, it's just a little t-shirt, um, it's like a velvety material. And again, you saw this on my Primark called my orange hoodie, um, which I love. Does anyone else overpack for where they're going? I mean, I'm taking my camera as well, and I've got a few bits to take for Tom. But is that too big for a weekend bag? I mean, I've got a few uh, outfits, um, but is that too big? I don't know. It fits all my stuff in though, so that's why I'm taking it, but my other bag is in here. I think that would be way too small. Yeah, no, yeah, I've, I made the right choice. I have. <laughs> so I've decided before I go, I've got about half, oh, yeah. half an hour before I leave. So I decided to play a bit of Crash Bandicoot. My brother's just given me um, his old PlayStation 4, so I'm hoping to get Spyro as well, but yeah, half an hour to go and then I'll leave. It takes about two and a half hours uh, to get there, so yeah, having a bit of chill time before I go, do the long drive. So I'm now about to leave, I've set the uh, postcode into the sat nav so I don't get lost, and it says I'll be arriving at quarter past two, so in two hours and 15 minutes. Oh, okay, so we'll see depending on how I drive um, But yeah, I shall see you when I get there So I'm now, now joined the A14 around Cambridge um, and it's so slow. Now there's delays until 2020, apparently. Um, I knew that anyway, obviously, because I didn't used to live in Cambridge, but I heard on the radio that it's slower than normal, which is great! Um, so I'm now going round about to join the main part, so I'll see how Slow. Oh god, there's a lorry on the hard shoulder. Okay, it's it's moving, but slowly, very slowly. Now I want to go right. And, uh, okay, A14 West. Yes. Oh, this road is so... Oh my god. In 0.5 miles, keep right onto Huntingdon Road. It's literally not moving. No! Is it because this road is joining that part of the A14? I have no idea. It literally... That bit isn't moving. Maybe if... So I made it to Wellingborough after three hours. 
Should have taken like two and a half, but the A14 was so full of traffic. It's the worst I've ever seen it. Um, but I'm here now, I'm in the flat, and I will wait for Tom, and he should be back in about two hours. So I've got a sandwich, because I am starving. Um, so I only had, what time is it now? It's 25 past three, and I had breakfast at about eight o'clock this morning, so my tummy is hungry. <laughs> what have you packed in this, bricks? Maybe. He does want to get my bag. <laughs> so we've ordered pizza. But it's meant to come in 45 minutes, but the man's here now. And Tom's gone down there. But I don't know what's going on. I can't hear because of the cars. I'm quiet. Why was he early? Because it's the first time they've been do they've ever done just eat that pizza. Oh. So they're still sorting out the kinks. So they put in the order. You did it through just eat, not through the website. Yeah, I did it through just eat. Oh. So um, they've just uh, they accidentally put deliver straight away. But to be honest, I'm crazy levels of hungry. Okay. <laughs> so I don't care. Let's get it out. Are we eating down here? Yeah, I reckon so. Oh my god! Pizza out of the box is so for food. So many, sauces. so many sauces. Down garlic, herb, sweet chili, sour cream, chai, barbecue. Oh wow! Great selection. Ready? Grand reveal. <gasps> oh my god! Okay. So we got mm. cheesy bites. And was it chicken, bacon? Chicken, bacon, barbecue, and red onion. And red onion. Oh my god! Oh, my mouth is actually literally salivating. And then on, oh, the, yeah, we side, got on the side. What's that? On the side. Oh, yeah, the chicken. Some chicken strips with sweet chili sauce. Exciting! So here's my outfit that I'm wearing. So uh, my leggings are from uh, Debenhams, I think it was, one of the brands there. And then this little uh, t-shirt dress is from Dorothy Perkins, but I actually got it from a charity shop. Um, so I can't link any of these below. But yeah, nice cute little outfit for the day. So Tom's at his rugby match this morning. So I think what I'm going to do is tidy up the flat a little bit because he's got some uh, washing up uh, to do which we had for breakfast, we had boiled eggs for breakfast and probably the hob which doesn't look great, it looks very rusty um, I'm thinking I might change the bed covers as well because they're quite dirty as well but Okay, so bed is made. Does anyone else get that really like nice satisfying feeling when you've got a nice clean bed for the night? Because I do. Let me know down in the comments below. So I think I'm going to give the kitchen a bit of a tidy now. Um, I'm not sure how long that'll take. Doing a bit of washing up as well. Um, Tom should be back about half past twelve, so in about two hours. Um, so I might go out into town maybe after, but we shall see. But I will see you when I see you. We're in the car now. Tom's back. We got some food for a picnic. And where are we going? The country park? Uh, 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 Chester Park. It's a small village. 
very close to Wellingbra. It has a lovely big park. It has a nice loop and stuff. Because uh, I was told about it by one of my mates from uni who lives in the area. And he says it's really picturesque, nice to go for a run and stuff. And all that sort of thing. But yeah, I, we also went to Tesco. I don't know if you can see it. I bought the new, uh, well, not new, it's been out ages, the vinyl um, for Ed Sheeran's Divide album, which I've been wanting for ages and I've got it, so happy days. But I know it won't take long to get there, will it? And then no, we're going like to have a picnic and then go for a walk. Tom's taking us down a really dodgy route. Oh, no, no, there you go. Not so dodgy now. Yeah, it looks better. I'm just smuggling some donuts and crackers. <laughs> Doggy. To find, <laughs> to find Sorry, Tom some plants. I got distracted. Well, a plant or succulent or something. Cactus, maybe. Yeah. yeah, get a bit more greenery in the house, as it were. Should we get some fish, Tom? Yeah, look at these eels. Oh. Creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, they're reed fish. Weird, aren't they? Oh god, they must have to... Look at this guy. He's like, please find me. Big old guy. Oh look, he's a friend. The fish are following Tom's hand. How oh, funny. <laughs> Crazy, it's eyes and are. the eels. Oh the eels God. are huge. Oh, it's like what a snake! Yeah, okay. So, Tom has purchased his little plant. So, how you tell? <laughs> So the thought is to get a tiny plant and then it can grow into this big pot. I mean it's quite, doesn't really fit right well. You need to add lots of compost to yeah. it. But yeah, the pot was 50% off which is a bargain to say oh, the least. Um, Same price as the smaller pot. Yeah, what plain. are we going to do now? Um, do we want to go back? Potentially go back and have a cuppa. Yeah. To sort some stuff out. We've still got uh, we've got a, bit, a few bits that we've got from the shops that probably won't last oh, very well in the car. Oh, yeah. need to go in the fridge. Yeah. Like we've got to get the naan in. Okay, we will see you at the flat. Okay, so succulents need gravel at the bottom of their thing. So we're taking it out of the car park and putting it in here. <laughs> So we've potted him, we've given him some water as well. It looks so cute! We haven't given him a name though. It's time to water you now. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, oh, let's call him... Jumeirabai. <laughs> okay. So we chilled out for a bit and now we've got some alcoholic beverage oils. And we're watching Doctor Who, the first episodes, with uh, Christopher Eccleston in it and uh, Billy Piper, which are my fave combo, which has been so far. Can't wait for the um, new series with Jodie Whittaker. Oh yeah, 7th of October. 7th of October, Buzzing. so make sure you watch that. 
buzzing. Um, very excited for that. First, first woman doctor, which should be fun. Um, I wonder if she'll have a man psychic though, a male psychic. Uh, uh, or if it'll be a female again. I hope it is a male sidekick, because then it'll be like two in one. Yeah. Has there anything been given away yet at all? Not really. No. We've just had the advert, and that's about it. True. I reckon uh, if they're smart, or you look really red. <laughs> I do. I, I the, I've weirdly got Asian flush, which does make sense. Hmm. We're going to breakfast, but it's really windy. It's a bit blue here. It is. Oh. Where, where is it? We're going. Uh, Castello Lounge. Castello uh, Lounge. One of the guys I worked with uh, went there the other day, and uh, he said the food was very good, and they do a decent brunch menu too. Ah. <laughs> So, I got you lemon and ginger tea. I got myself a regular tea because I'm a normal human being. Uh, you, I got the triple stack pancakes with bacon and maple syrup. I got myself the diner brunch, which has pancakes, bacon, syrup, barbecue beans, mini hash browns, and two fried eggs. Mine's a correct size, I think. God. <laughs> so what is it? Uh, NN1. Okay. Oh, this good. N. N1. 3AH. Uh, no house number. Say that one. Yeah. I'm sure it'll direct us. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. That'll be more helpful. Ooh, Please drive to highlighted route. Oh, wow, it's proper knotted and tangled. Oh, I haven't managed that. That's very rude of you there to you say. Go. We're on our way to Northampton for the day. Whoop. Yeah, I think we're going to park in a multi story car park. I think it's quite in a cheap. Yeah, for a whole day on Sunday is pretty cheap. So yeah. Worth going through. Yeah, we'll probably look around some shops, maybe find you a lamp. That would be helpful. I actually love a lamp. Yeah. Buy another lamp. What? Oh god, you don't, you've never seen Anchorman. How can you not? How have you never seen Anchorman? Oh, I need to educate you. It's a, 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 very, it's a very famous line from Anchorman. to the car park and now we're gonna try and figure out where to go. I think this way. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a nice background. It's a really good background, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's a great background. Yeah, we've come to a little cafe to have a tea, and yeah, I'm, well, having, I'm having a milkshake. I'm so having a coffee. Yeah, you're having a latte. Look at the size of that coffee. You can do your head. Well, my head's big anyway. I know, exactly. You're gonna get a good rush out of that. Oh. Good. Yeah, solid. And here's solid my coffee. banana milkshake. Big old fat straw. No. <laughs> kind of forgot to film that we're in the shops, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, we did a bit. We kind of got distracted by all we... the goodies. And the bunnies and the Yeah, we went to pets at home. I really want a gerbil. I think they're so cute. They are cute, but the thing is though, is that you would really like a gerbil, but the thing is, is that you keep saying I should get a gerbil. So Mama... I have to look after it. <laughs> I asked mum if that. I could get a job and she was like, when do you have your own place? I was like, I did, but I had to move back home. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm allowed, I don't think I'm allowed pets. But the thing, I love the fact that you just want a gerbil to visit and play with and then leave and then I'm you left really with it. can't really play with gerbils. Yeah, it's true. You, you can put them in a, a ball, that's about it. Yeah, it's really hot in here. It's hot. 
cooking. Yeah, we're gonna go home now. Um, reassess what we're gonna do. We might go to the pub. Definitely go um, to the pub. But yeah, it's really hot in here. We've got dinner on! Making um, chili. a sort of chilli. Well, I mean, I don't have any beans, so... No. But it'll be very chilly. We've got, yeah. got the spices mm. for a good old chilli. Beef's right. just browning. Yeah, we've got Lord of the Rings on in the background. Yeah, so we bought, a, well, Tom bought a new garlic press earlier so we're gonna try that out it's pretty cool because it's copper so. hopefully it works <laughs> onions chopped tomatoes the yum, yum, yum. the birth have some lovely sarnies yeah